Good morning. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our reading for the day. I'll pull an oracle card and go from there. If you've never been to my channel before, I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order they need to be in. All right. Let's go ahead and get our guidance for the day, shall we? Guidance for today. We all need guidance. Well, I do. I would imagine you do too. Time to simplify. Keep it simple. Well, that's a great idea. Find your flow state. Choose joy and ease. And that really, truly is great, adv great advice. When you find your flow state and you keep it simple, life is so much better. Like last night with the full moon, I went ahead and I, I did some drumming, you know, call it down. It was great. <laughs> Keep it simple. Find your flow state. Charge my crystals. I hope you did too if you use crystals. You know, hopefully you enjoyed the full moon's energy and you took some action. All right, Earth Oracle, here we go. The truth. Yeah, it is the truth. It is. When we move with the rhythm of life, when we when we look inside to that higher self, that inner knowing, and we find that flow state when we go with the rhythm of the universe, and you see that truth that lies within, and you walk forward with that, it's a glorious thing. And creativity just flows through your body. When you walk with the divine and you anchor in that spirit and you create, co-create with the spirit when you find your flow state, keep it simple. Leave it to them. Don't even worry about it. Just, just let the divine guide you. It's the easiest way to do it. If you have a problem and you have that resistance, just ask for guidance and keep going. Generally, it's a sign to look in and to realign yourself. All right, let's get our answers for card. Yeah, they're on a roll today. I know. They get that way. Healer. Compassion. Yes. Please remember that, okay? Remember that we're here to heal, okay? Reach out to others. Look at them with compassion, with true compassion from here, from your heart center. Look at everything with compassion and get creative if you have to, to reach out to somebody who's hurting and, and be the healer that's inside of you. It's in all of us. It really is. I mean, life is, life is glorious. It truly is. Oh, water. Ah, uh, they're going for it. All right, water. Yes, the flow state. Water, the giver of life. But really, this is talking about that flow state and really bringing it home to keep it simple. And, you know, water is, you know, I mean, it's essential to life, but it's also flows. It flows through us. It flows through all the plants outside. It flows through the air. I mean, there's water in all of life. I mean, there really is. And, you know, when you look at that and when you stay within that rhythm and that flow state and you stay in sync with that truth, um, you, you start to heal yourself and others and that core wound at the center of the universe and just remember to please keep communicating with the spirit talk to your angels talk to the plants talk to nature ask your guides and angels for that guidance seek wisdom you know Align yourself with the universe, with the crystalline grid. You know, align yourself with the entire earth, earth, moon, and stars, the rhythm of life, that that energy, that, that life force that flows within all of us. It's here, and it's time to use it. Remember to keep communicating. All right, we're going to go ahead and get an earth magic card today, apparently. All right, what a great reading. Keep it simple. Find your flow state. Communicate. Seek the truth and always show compassion. Become the healer that's in all of us. 
a wonderful thing. All right. Earth magic. Here we go. Time for action. Yeah. Let that sink in all month. Let's sink in. Time for action. Vulnerability. Yeah, you have to stay vulnerable. You have to. Uh, and that is one of the, uh, the true truths within all of this. You need to stay vulnerable and allow the universe to work through you, to allow the divine to use you and your talents and remain vulnerable to what's coming into you. You know, you, we're not in control. We can look to our higher selves and we can, we can look for that inner knowing, but you know, the ego is not in control. The little girl or little boy that was hurt is not in control. All right. Our higher self, look to that higher self, that higher knowing, that inner knowing, that master DNA of the universe, if you will. Okay. Look to that, become vulnerable to that always. All right. All right. Really? All right. Oh, well, release is on the bottom, but they're asking for another Earth Magic card. Okay, who am I to argue? I never understand. Oops. Oh, yeah, they're popping out all over the place. Nurturing, creation, dream time. I'm going to tell you what, you can create some stuff in your dreams. That's true. You can create. You can um, create a new reality in your dreams if you want to. Dream time, where we manifest our reality at times. I'm telling you, dreams are the doorway to your soul. Dare to dream and find out who you truly are. Said it a long time ago. Coined the phrase. It's true. All right. Earth magic. Here we go. Oh, brother. Okay. I'm full of it. Yeah, come on. I mean, they're screaming at us today. It's time to continue to blossom with who we really are and to unfold our many gifts, right? And allow that light and beauty to shine. As I'm trying to do, I pray you do as well. Male, female alike, divine feminine, divine masculine in all of us. Please. Just like a lotus flower, just let it bloom. Or a lily, however you want to look at it. Just, you know, let it bloom. Let that light shine, okay? There is a promise. There is. Oh, man, they are going for it. There is a promise of a new day, of a new life for us, right? Oh, my God, it's that song in my damn head again. It's a new life. It's a new day. Wait. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It, it's a song I can't... Um, it comes from that movie that... Um, oh, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about it. Bridget Jones plays in it, right? Bridget Jones, is that her name? Bridget Fonda, I'm sorry, Bridget Fonda. She plays in it, and Simone... The artist is Simone. It's a new dawn. It's a new life for me. Something like that. I think we should listen to that today, apparently. Because we do have the promise of a new day. When we live for the divine. And when we look for that, you know, inner knowing and that peace that resides within us. When we look for that, we do have a promise to be taken care of by the divine. It is our, it is our right. And it is a promise that they'll always take care of us. And that's a glorious thing. It truly is. When we look to the divine, when we look to the heart of nature, to heal her and to love her, all things become possible. You just have to remember to continue to come from here. And that promise is there. And then I'll post that video. I'll, I'll share it to my, to my website. It's a really good song. Uh, it truly is. I don't know. It's, um, it's a good song to listen to. And it's actually a really good movie, too. She was a drug addict, and she was in a store. And it's about a robbery that goes bad, and the, she was sentenced to death. And 
the government came in and took her and gave her a chance at a new life with a new identity. But it's a great movie, but the song is fucking phenomenal, and I recommend you listen to it. All right, let's go ahead and get our Earth, our moon card for the day. Wow. Yeah, I got a lot of energy today. All that drumming I did last night, I guess. You should try it. All right, moon card for the day. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Well, I think that's great news, right? It's a win-win situation. You can't go wrong, right? You just seek to truly, truly seek to help others with compassion from your heart and let the divine take care of everything. Just let them use you. It's a win-win situation. Bring love into the situation always, all right? Let's go ahead and get our healing energy for the day. Yeah, they're on a roll. They are. Oh. Well, all right. Let's not do that. Start shuffling them backwards. That's weird. Get this mineral card staring at me. My crystals. Yeah, I charged them all last night. I put them all out under the... I didn't move, so to speak. I put them out on my patio. I actually went out there and drummed last night to um, a song, um, I Hear You Calling, by Chalice and Blaine. And then I did a video drumming to We All Come From The Goddess, but there was a copyright claim, so I took it down. I don't, I don't need to infringe in anybody's territory. I enjoyed it, though. You should try it. Maybe we can do it together Sunday. So. That'd be kind of cool. What do you think? Harmony. Yeah, that's perfect. I open myself to the divine being within me. I am the image of God. Thus, I have the power to bring light into my life. I turn my darkness in me into something beautiful. In the absence of resentment, anger, or doubt, I find harmony. And it's true because the other card here is harmony. Yeah. I mean, when you live for the divine and you live within that flow state and you keep it simple, you really, really do find harmony in your life. It's a wonderful thing. And yeah, they're, they're on a roll. We're going to go ahead and pull this one last card here. Unconditional love is what we are promised. And when you love unconditionally, you always take care of that, right? What you love unconditionally, you always want the best for it. And that's how you can know that we are promised to be taken care of. Unconditional love. When you love something, you'll always care for it, always. That's why love is the highest vibration. Yes, we know the one above it for the astral records, scrolls of time, Akashic records, if you will, but that's okay. We're going with love as the highest vibration because when you put love into everything, you do elevate yourself and your consciousness to help it expand. All right. Unconditional love. My heart is free from resentment towards others. I open my eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. I think that's a great reading for today and a great attitude to have for the day. Try and keep that with you. Unconditional love. Definitely. And remember to stay in constant communication with your higher self today and get in that flow state. Go ahead and let your beauty unfold today. It is a promise of the divine that we will always be loved and taken care of. Right? Love and light, bright blessings. I wish you the best of days today, always. Namaste.